It's August 12th, 2021, and I am out here scouting for big bucks for this upcoming season. I just got out here today. I'm glassing, um, checking cameras, setting up cameras, and just looking for a giant for this hunting season that's coming up. It's about 10 o'clock tonight. I saw four bucks today. Two I spotted this afternoon and then I just got done spotlighting and saw two more bucks. One pretty nice four by four but not the giant that we're looking for. I'm going to get some sleep for a little bit and try again tomorrow. I just saw the third buck of the day, four by four with small forks, but it's just nice to see another deer. Right as the sun was coming up this morning, I saw two really nice bucks. Good start to the morning. I've got a bunch of cameras to check, so hopefully I'll have some bucks to look out there. Look at some more country, do some more glassing this evening. Got a lot of running around to do. It's super windy out here this evening. It sprinkled and kind of cooled down this afternoon. I've been out there glassing quite a while and just spotted another decent 4x4. Four four. He was bedded down and stayed laying down until after the sun went down. Finally got up and started feeding a little bit. But that's all for today. I've seen eight bucks on this trip so far. It's 10 15 at night and I just saw two really big bucks there were four bucks together two of them were really small they were quite a ways off so it was hard for me to get a good look at them in the light I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a better look tomorrow get some cameras up try to spot them and hopefully I'll be able to see them again another morning I'm out here trying to find those bucks from last night I just spotted at least three bucks I only got a good look at one of them the other ones I couldn't see very well they're on a thick bench about a mile away I'm not sure if it's the ones from last night or not I'm trying to find the tracks to see where they came into the area or left the area this morning but haven't been able to find those yet hopefully I can get some more info today and get a better idea of where these bucks are and where they're living <laughs>
I just sent my last camera that I had. I got four in this area where I saw these two big bucks last night. Now I'm heading to a totally different spot, check some more cameras, and I'll be back here either this evening or tomorrow to do some glassing in this canyon here and hopefully be able to find these bucks again. I have to take a little break today and go get some fuel. I just checked two cameras this morning, didn't have anything exciting. Yesterday I had about a 175 buck on one of the cameras, but he's the biggest I've seen on camera. I've got four that are bigger than him that I've seen and got video of them. I pulled several cameras, so I've got a couple more to check today, and I've got four that I need to put back out there, find some good spots for them hopefully today after I go get gas. It is hot. I've been in three units this morning. Just finished setting out another camera. I pulled a couple cameras this morning. I've only had one big buck on a picture, but he's really not even that big. About 175 is the biggest buck that I have on camera. So I've pulled several cameras, got a few more to redistribute and put out there. Just found a nice spot for this one. And I'm gonna keep looking. It's super hot out there though. That's the crappy thing about looking around in August. Time to head off to the next spot. Not a lot of luck today. All I saw were a few does. And this evening I saw a doe and a fawn about an hour before dark, but that's it. I'm over here glassing where I saw the two big bucks, but I wasn't able to find them this evening. So heading back to the truck. Go look around some more tonight get some sleep and keep trying. I'm watching a real nice buck this morning. It's about seven o'clock and I've got a nice four by four over here. Yesterday I didn't see any bucks at all until last night's spotlighting. I saw three different bucks, little bucks, but this is a nice way to start this morning. Real nice buck. He's not what we're looking for, but he's a good one.
I just saw my 10th buck of the day. The first one I saw this morning was the biggest one. Everything else was just bucks, nothing too exciting. So I'm out here now at my final glassing point for the evening. I just got out here. I've got a nice canyon I can look at and quite a bit of country I can see from here. So I'm gonna stay here until it gets dark. Somewhere out here is the giant we're looking for and hopefully we'll be able to find him. August 18th today, I'm in a new unit today. Checked a couple of cameras, got another decent four by four, nothing exciting, moved another camera, and I just got word that John Chapel found a nice big non-typical buck on one of his cameras. He's out looking also. So that's exciting. He's the biggest one we've found so far. We've seen some nice typicals that are in the 180s, 190s possibly, but this one looks to be a little bit bigger than that and he's got some extra points. So exciting to see that we're getting closer to what we're looking for. There's the one buck feeding and then down below him is another one, a little better four by four that's bedded. Looking around in another different unit today, I saw four bucks this afternoon. One pretty nice one, nice and tall, big back forks, just didn't have much main beam. Was nice and tall, not very wide. Had an extra kicker coming off one of the sides. Really cool buck, but not what we're looking for. Saw one more just now here, right before dark, way off. Just looked like a nice, nice framed buck, but not a giant. Just nice to see some bucks. There's a giant out there somewhere and we gotta find him. August 20th, about 8.30 in the morning, and I've seen two bucks this morning, a couple does. One of the bucks was a pretty nice four by four. I'm exploring some new country. I've only hunted over here one time and only been in this area a few times, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Saw the four bucks yesterday, a bear, two bucks this morning. I'm excited about what might be around here. It just seems like there should be a giant in here somewhere. Today I checked a couple of cameras, just had some small bucks on them, so I pulled them out of that area and went and took them somewhere else, found a couple of decent trails and got them set up, so hopefully I'll find some better stuff there. I've only seen does today, saw about eight does in all my glassing and no bucks at all. I'm going to go spotlight for a little bit after it gets dark and tomorrow I'm heading back to where I saw the two biggest bucks. I'm going to check my cameras there and see if I got the real big one because I haven't seen him that well yet to know exactly what he is. May set up some more cameras over there, do some glassing and see what we find.
I just checked five cameras in the area where I saw the two biggest bucks and neither buck is on any of the cameras. I got some decent bucks, big three by three, another big four by three, decent bucks, but not the ones we're looking for. So I did quite a bit of exploring, found two other spots where these deer could be going in and coming out of this area. So got two cameras set up and hopefully we'll get them here. This might be the biggest mule deer shed that I've ever found. Um, nice, big, typical, really super cool kicker here coming off the side. I was glassing from the ridge up above me and saw this laying down here. So I decided to, I better walk down and get it. And I'm glad I did because it is a giant, beautiful shed. It's been here for a long time. I'm going to score it a little bit later and just see what it is. Real nice shed, cool way to start the morning. Today is August 25th. I'm not doing that well with the bucks this week. I've only seen eight this week since I've been here. Still haven't seen the big buck that I just got a glimpse of spotlighting a couple of weeks ago. I saw the big 4x4 four four that was with him, just haven't seen him yet. I've got several cameras in the area and have looked quite a bit, but have not got a better look to actually see what he is. I only have a few more days up here before I have to leave to go guide elk hunts for the month of September, so it's frustrating that we haven't found a big one yet. I've looked at close to a hundred bucks between seeing them and getting them on camera, but we have to find something bigger. This morning I found a fresh buck track from last night down in the sage. So I followed it and was able to get through all the sage and finally found where it went up onto a bench. So I came up and around, got up on top and I've been glassing, moving along, trying to find him. And I finally just happened to stalk right up on him. I could hear a little bit of noise and it was him feeding. So I crept up over the little ledge and there he was about 60 yards from me feeding. I had to move a little bit to where I could get a little better video of him and was able to get a little bit, but he heard me turn on the camera. So knew something was wrong and got out of there. Just another decent four by four, just another buck we got to find something bigger. It's August 28th. I've been following some buck tracks around all afternoon trying to get a look at these three bucks that have been in here. I found their tracks a few weeks ago but had not been able to see them so I came back in here today, found their tracks, followed them through the sage, saw where they spent the night, found where they were heading out and I just ended up jumping them. Only got a look at two out of three of them. Both of them were pretty nice. One looked quite a bit bigger, looked like a big 180 kind of buck. Didn't have any trash or anything. It didn't look like, so I don't think he's what we're looking for. I wish I would have got to see the other one and I'm kind of mad that I jumped them and wasn't able to spot them, but that's how it goes sometime. This is my last day out here for a while. I've got to go get ready to guide elk hunters for the month of September. After I finish up here this evening, I got to leave, go home, get repacked, and head out to elk camp. Was not able to find the giant I'm looking for this month, but I've got 20 cameras out and they'll be doing their work for the next few weeks until I can get back up here and check them and start looking again. Big mule deer are tough to find. I don't think they're 
really harder to find necessarily. It's just there are so few that finding that giant is very tough. The archery elk hunt is done with, so we're back looking for big bucks. Today I'm checking cameras. I've pulled almost all the cameras that I've checked because they've been here for a month and they don't have any shooters on them. So no reason to leave them there. So I'm gonna pull a bunch of them as I check them and go start resetting them either later this afternoon or tomorrow once I get everything checked out here. So. We're seeing some new bucks, some new nice bucks, and possibly might have one or two that we need to take a little closer look at that are potential shooters. Really haven't found anything for sure yet. I'm looking at three bucks this morning. They're bedded. One of them looks like he's really wide, like at least 32 inches wide. I can't really tell what he has, but they're bedded, so I'm hoping to get a better look once they stand up. Never got a really good look at this buck, but there's a hunt going on right now, and some hunters came in from behind those deer and jumped them up, and so they are out of here, and I'm out of here on my way to a different area, check some more cameras, reset some cameras, and keep on the search for the giant. A couple hours ago, I was driving down and found a couple tracks crossing the road from last night. They were after the rain last night, so I followed them around a little bit, trying to see where they went out of the bottom, but it started raining on me and kind of washing the tracks away. So I went back to the truck, came around towards where the tracks were headed and started glassing down in the sage and I spotted the four bucks that were down there. A couple of them have some kickers, just a nice group of bucks, but not shooters. There's a hunt going on right now and many people would shoot any one of those four bucks. I just pulled up to a new spot. I'm going to glass for this evening, the last hour, and see what I see tomorrow. I've got several more cameras to get out. Today's September 30th. I just put out my last camera for the day. It's raining. Cool. I've got to go home for a few days and do some work, but I'll be back and put out some more cameras and keep looking for this giant that's out here somewhere and we still haven't found. Back at it this morning waiting for daylight to see what I see. spot for a camera.
I just saw a giant, beautiful three by three, heavy, big eye guards, tall, dark horns, just an awesome buck, but only a three by three. Just got a call. I've got to leave here. No more scouting for deer for now. I got to go guide a bear hunter tomorrow morning. So I've got a long drive today. Still have not found the one. Continuing on the journey for a giant today is October 28th and the last couple of weeks I've been guiding hunts last night our rifle deer hunt ended so on my way home I was going home for a day before the next hunt started but I stopped and checked three cameras that were on my way and I found a really big buck from the few pictures I got from him he looks like a big 4x4 four four, and on his right side he has one extra point maybe two points so this morning I'm heading back in there to try to locate him hopefully I can find him he might be the one we've been looking for Yesterday evening, I found the buck that I had on camera. He was bedded and he stayed bedded until dark. So I wasn't able to actually confirm that it was the buck from the camera because he didn't move and I couldn't see all the points that he had. So got back in here this morning and spotted him this morning. He was up moving around a little bit. Confirmed that it is the buck from the camera. He's a big four by four, has that one extra point coming off that back fork. We're still not sure if he's the one we want to try to hunt but I'm gonna try to get closer, try to get a better look. He's definitely a nice big buck though, the biggest one I've seen this year.
Matt Taylor is on his way to New Mexico and we start hunting tomorrow. John Chapel and I have looked at several hundred bucks on trail camera pictures through the binoculars, through spotting scopes, and this is the biggest one we've seen in three months of looking. The hunter's on his way and we'll start hunting tomorrow and see what happens. It's almost noon. We have no sign of the buck yet today. We just spotted a mountain lion right down below us, bedded. So that's not a good sign. Hopefully he didn't spook the buck and run him out of here or something, but we'll keep looking. up on a bench so we're just set up and waiting to see if he'll come back out this afternoon. 350. Yeah, that's pretty good. Formation's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That big old extra. It's Jesus, dude. That's a about a five inch extra. Bigger than that. Flash. Me and John Chapel and Jeremy Wilson looked at several hundred bucks on trail cameras, through the binoculars, through the spotting scopes, and this is the biggest one we saw in three months of looking. Glad we were able to find him, get on him, and get him down yesterday afternoon. Matt made a great 350 yard shot and got him down on the ground. We're happy we finally found a good one for him. Congratulations, Matt.